kind of address the situation that we're all in. We're all stuck in this quarantine situation, but we're all stuck in this quarantine situation together, right? And I think it's nice that we found solidarity, you know, in the fact that we can remember very fondly the days where we thought the apocalypse was going to come in the form of some vengeful deity or like the nuclear clock clicking, ticking closer to midnight, you know, or Mercury constantly being in retrograde. (laughs) (laughs) Or like just the movie Mad Max, you know, but like, but like kind of like a shitty version of that movie where instead of like fighting over water, everybody's fighting over toilet paper. (laughs) But it turns out we were all wrong. Everybody got it wrong, right? It turns out that the apocalypse was going to come like in a, in, a, in a much smaller package. It's going to come in like a very small, tiny, spiky virus that Mother Nature herself let loose on humanity to bring us all to a halt. You know, hell hath no fury like Mother Nature herself. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, hell hath nothing because hell is not real. So... <laughs> <laughs> But you know, t- things things have changed in the in the time of the great quarantine that we're living in. Uh, coughing is now banned, and can get you ten to fifteen in the big house, baby. <laughs> because arbitrarily jailing people for for random things is that's still essential during a pandemic, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Jaywalking still illegal during a pandemic. If you sneeze, that's a trip to Guantanamo Bay. Because clearly, that's an act of terror. (laughs) Handshakes are part of the anarchist cookbook. (laughs) (laughs) And we have criminalized hugs. Hugs are now criminalized, you guys. This means by the end of it, there's going to be a lot of adults that are just going to be lingering on hugs for just like a little bit too long, you know, just so we can feel... (laughs) like something, you know? (laughs) And look, as a hugger, this hits close to home. This hits real close to home. And and I gotta say, at the end of all this, I promise you that we will hug each other like our boomer parents never did. (laughs) (laughs) We are also gonna see very affectionately uh, deprived children as well, right? Who thinks that uh, uh, h- how you show love, how you embrace somebody is by nodding to them across the street. Just, just <laughs> that's oh. love, <laughs> that's love. <laughs> On a positive note though, we do have a major shift in hygiene. I think a lot more people are uh, washing their hands and uh, the, the biggest thing that we can take out of this in, in terms of improving our hygiene is that American teenage boys are now going to be masturbating with sanitizer instead of lotion. <laughs> it's double the fun, half the cleanup, folks. <laughs> you know? Look, I'm not here to brag, but some of us have been ahead of that trend for a long time. Okay. <laughs> Some of us have been preparing in every way for a pandemic. (laughs) Sure, it's not the classical way that you see a prepper, but, you know, there's a lot of different kind of preppers out there, okay? There's a lot of different kinds. But it is important to know exactly what we're facing here, right? Uh, Because there's a lot of information coming out. We know some things. We don't know some things. Uh, But first and foremost, there's a lot of confusion in the name of this virus alone. Right, most of us believe that this, it's called COVID nineteen, which is like the nineteenth variation of the COVID strand of coronaviruses. But that's actually not accurate. The virus is called SARS CoV two, much like its predecessor SARS CoV one. It is a type of novel coronavirus. The disease that this virus SARS CoV two causes is COVID nineteen, which was named by the World Health Organization for the year that it was discovered. They are, if nothing, a beacon of clever nomenclatures. <laughs> Every year just like, hey, what's this virus? Oh, it's called the Sniff Sniff 20 because it gives you the sniffles and was sniffed covered in 2020. <laughs> They're like, you did it again, WHO. 
get him the award for clarity. You did it again. <laughs> So the confusion really stems from the fact that the WHO introduced the term uh, as uh, the virus that causes COVID-19, and eventually they just called it COVID-19. The reason they did that is because uh, of, of the negative connotations uh, towards Asian countries surrounding SARS, right? And humanity's inclination to choose fear and hatred instead of uh, understanding and compassion. That's why they decided to go with that. But this is America. Okay, we're not gonna fucking let some nomenclature get in the way, right? We, we, <laughs> we circumvented the WHO's attempt of quelling racism and started calling it the China virus. Oh, no. <laughs> or the Wuhan virus, baby. That's a USA. <laughs> USA. <laughs> because you guys know how like viruses are loyal to borders and flags and stuff. <laughs> You know how like a virus is to get like a passport if it wants to go from one country to another? <laughs> you guys remember? Actually, researchers, when they, when they zoom in real close to, to SARS-CoV-2, when you zoom in real close, you can see a couple of little tiny yellow stars on there. <laughs> and then right underneath it, you get to see a hammer and a sickle because this virus is also communist. <laughs> <laughs> It collectively wants us all to be sick, you guys. That's it's very communist. <laughs> <laughs> and if you zoom even closer than that, you see the Twin Towers, because this virus probably caused 9-11, too. <laughs> Look, we all knew it was an inside job. We just didn't know how inside it was. <laughs> I was honestly shocked that it, it ended at, at China virus, right? I was actually shocked that they stopped there. I was really waiting for Mike Pence to come out and say something about the gays being involved in this somehow, because why not? Let's add homophobia to the mix during a global pandemic, right? Let's keep doing that. Despite all that, though, the virus did earn itself some pretty interesting nicknames uh, along the way, right? Some people are saying uh, that it's the case of the vids which makes it sound like an SDI you get from sleeping from a former MTV VJ in 2002. <laughs> <laughs> now, some folks are calling it the Rona, which kind of has a regal quality to it, doesn't it? It's got a little, little regal quality to it. And I think that's kind of a fitting nickname since the rich are the only ones that can afford the testing and the treatments. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a fair nickname. It's a fair nickname. <laughs> I think, though, we're eventually going to ha uh, have to refer to it uh, by uh, the virus formerly known as COVID-19, but more accurately called <laughs> SARS-CoV-2. Get over your race, <laughs> replace the scientific nomenclature, and pick up a fucking book. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I get it. It doesn't, it doesn't roll off the tongue, right? But I do think it's very pleasingly accurate. <laughs> It is going to be hard to hashtag, and I think that's a good thing. <laughs> I think that's a very positive thing. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, please give it a like, and please subscribe to my channel for, uh, for more. There's going to be daily videos going up uh, on this channel. Uh, I am also uh, going to be performing virtual live stand-up comedy shows via Zoom. Uh, I've done a couple of these, and they've been super, super fun. So thank you to all the people that have already purchased tickets and uh, come out to these shows on a regular basis. They're, they're pretty fun. I'm going to be doing them every single Friday in the month of June. Tickets are available for those right now on my website at krishmohan.com. So it's June 5th, June 12th, June 19th, and June 26th going at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, if you're in the other time zones, I think you can figure out what, what time that <laughs> these shows are going to be on. Uh, they are going to be, each show is going to be a little bit different. They're going to be covering topics like the one uh, in the video that you just watched. Uh, again, you can grab your tickets at krishmohan.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N every Friday at June, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and uh, if you are a sustaining member, you get a free ticket to every single one of these shows. 
uh, and you can become a sustaining member over uh, on my website as well. And uh, I know I know times are tough, uh, so if you are in a financially precarious situation, please send me a message uh, or an email, and I will happily give you a code that will get you a uh, a free ticket to attend these shows. Uh, I'm also releasing my brand new stand-up comedy album, which if you're a sustaining member, you get an early uh, early release version of early uh, early copy of. Uh, it is available on my Bandcamp page to pre-order right now, and it comes out June 1st. So you can go to ramennoodlescomedy.bandcamp.com, get your uh, get your copy of it uh, for only a dollar. You can pre-order it for only a buck. If you want to donate a little bit more, that would be awesome as well. Uh, there are more videos like this coming up. I'm, I'm going to be doing uh, a bunch of live streams pretty regularly from my Facebook page and uploading and releasing videos via the YouTubes and uh, and the on the audio podcast versions as well. So stay tuned. Make sure that you like, make sure that you share, and make sure that you're subscribed to these pages because content like this often gets, uh, gets suppressed. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, till the next one, we'll see you on the road. Thanks.